For my critical thinking lesson, I am doing this in the perspective as if I am teaching a critical thinking lesson to fifth graders. So fifth graders would be my audience, and this is something that I talk to fifth graders about, so this slideshow could be something I could show them. Um, I would start out by saying to my fifth graders, what is critical thinking? What can you tell me? So at this point, I would say, give them some think time, and I would tell them to talk to their table. Talk to your table and see what is critical thinking. And then I would give a definition when they have collected their ideas and we've shared. I would give a kid-friendly definition and I would say, how can we use critical thinking? If we're thinking critically about something, that means that we are formulating or creating your own opinions and drawing or coming up with your own conclusion or answer to something. Then I would start by saying, okay, well, why should we be a critical thinker? And I would tell them, you know, to be a critical thinker, you can become a well-rounded and adventurous thinker. You can generate innovative solutions. You can use your reasoning skills to analyze and evaluate problems. You can plan and think strategically. I think I would tell my fifth graders that in order to be a critical thinker, you need to be working on setting goals. They need to understand the importance of preparation and effective, how effective setting goals can be, whether that's short-term goals for, I want to get an A on this test. I want to get B on this. You know, I want to set short-term goals and I want to set long-term goals. What are their goals for the year? Um, I would also encourage students to be aware of themselves and how um, maybe they're feeling about things. Um, maybe encourage students to to talk about you know how they can reach their goals and things like that. I would have the kids question what steps they need to take to become a critical thinker. If we're setting goals, what do you need to set? Um, and I would also model the thought process for them. I would show them what some goals for myself could be, how I could look at my emotions and question different things. I would also show them this, critical questions, um, things to think about when someone has something to say. Who said it? What did they say? Where did they say it? When did they say it? And why did they say it? How did they say it? These are all questions that we use daily in the classroom, and I think it'd be great for kids to see this as a visual reminder and as some way to help them. I would also say, how can we use critical thinking in our classroom? And this is where I would do an activity where there's a whole bunch of slips of paper on the table, and each kid grabs one, and you're timed, and give them about 30 seconds, and jot down all the ways we can use critical thinking in our classroom, or ways we have used it already. And I would give them time, and they would write one idea on each one, and then they would go over it with their table, um, and then we would go over it as a class. And some ways that I thought of were Google Docs, Google Slides, Google Classrooms, um, Brain Pop, when you create your own video. Any project-based learning assignment, I think, will have kids be um, a critical thinker because it's using a lot of collaboration, and it's using real-world experiences, and they're having to put more than one different thinking process together. Uh, my sixth idea was collaboration and for the seventh thing, allowing choice in assignments, whether you know kids want to make a poster, whether kids want to create a Google slideshow, whether they want to do something with Google Doc, whether they want to write a paper about it, giving them that choice will help them become a critical thinker. Um, Google, Google Apps make it easy for students to collaborate because you can create a doc, slide sheet, etc. and attach the emails of the students who are working together and I love that. Um, Google Docs is one way that we collaborate with peers on assignments daily. Um, I love that you can type at the same time. You have access to the assignment at school and at home. You can collaborate and share ideas. And I can leave comments too, or I can help them edit if they're struggling. This is just one example that we have done in the past where kids were, they were given this prompt and, and a person, and they had to write why this person wants to come live in a specific one of the 13 original colonies. And that's all I have for you. This is a lesson, like I said, for fifth graders. And we want to talk about why critical thinking is important and how we can use it. Thank you.